Just gotta go fast, Cat. You can count down right now. We're live on the gram. As soon as you're ready, let's do it. All right. What's up, Lucas? E Esparza and Montoya, what's going on? Dunk, Morthy, what's up, guys? I'm going to talk about some good stuff today. Weight loss therapies and new ones that are coming out, too. Not just semi-glutide. Terzepatide and Lyra. Lyra, Lyra glutide as well. So we got some different things we're going to talk about today. One-on-one -on -one fitness, Kaji Gus. What's up, Nelson? How you doing, guy? What's going on, uh, Jason? How you doing, J Lev? What's Kiki? How you doing, M Asvada? What's going on? How you doing? I am King Jonah. What's up? All right, guys. I got a good show for you guys. Sexy Slim. I think we're live on every platform now. Yep. What's up, guys? Welcome to Titan Talk Tuesday with me, John CEO of Titan Medical Center. Today, I got a great show for you guys, and I always got a great show for you guys. Today, we're going to cover the therapy of the week, which is BPC-157, which is a healing peptide. We're going to get into that. I'm going to talk to you about the difference between game-changer weight loss therapies that are now out on the market and helping a lot of people from regular, everyday people to actors and all these different people that are getting the benefits from these weight loss therapies like semi-glutide. Terzepatide and Lira Glutide. These are some different ones on the market. You might not have heard of the last two, but I'm going to explain them and what the differences are so you guys know exactly what they are. And if you guys want to take advantage of them, you guys will be able to here in the future. So I'm also going to talk about how not just soda is bad for you. So when you're drinking other drinks out there, we're going to go over what those negative drinks are and maybe you can make some changes to your nutrition plan, your daily diet, so you make sure that you're not getting the bad stuff and you're getting all the good stuff that you want to get the results, to feel better, to be healthier. That's what it takes, guys. Making some changes the healthy way for a healthier lifestyle. So without further ado, what up, Hulk Squad? How you doing? Need something? See the fat ones. All right, so I got definitely stuff for fat loss for sure. What's up, Pat Russo, my dude? How you doing, brother? All right, so let's get into the first uh, topic of the day, which is therapy of the week, and that's BPC-157. So BPC-157, body protection compound, BPC, that's what it stands for. Um, and it's isolated from the gastric juice in your stomach, so it's relatively pretty uh, recognizable by, by the body, right? It's not too foreign as far as that goes. And with this peptide, so this peptide has been called the Wolverine healing peptide, all this stuff. Now... You're not going to heal like Wolverine with this peptide, but it can help in a lot of different things from inflammation, uh, from joint, tendon, muscle tears, ligaments, uh, golf elbow, tennis elbow, all these different things that debil debilitate people if their workouts or daily overall activities. This can be a game changer for chronic, uh, for acute injuries, both game changers for both of those. So. You know, as far as how it works, um, usually it's site specific. So you want to inject subcutaneous around the site. Um, and at that point, it's going to work by creating new blood vessels and bringing blood flow to the area to help it heal. You don't want to restrict blood flow to those areas. You want to make sure that you're getting the blood to those areas so it can heal, heal properly. Um, along with this, you know, what, what could be we could also it could also be used for is for like ulcers uh, ibs crohn's um, anything in the stomach area this could be effective too as well for some of those patients so if you guys are looking for something that's going to help you heal faster or maybe you have an acute or chronic injury that's been debilitated whether it's athletic purpose wise or your daily overall routine uh, if you want to bring inflammation down this is going to be a game changer bpc 157 is definitely part of my regiment 110 percent I use it for both my shoulders. I got slap tears in them. So I'm trying to do everything I possibly can not to have surgery. Um, and, and it's definitely been a game changer for me. It, you know, as far as when I inject it, you know, I obviously feel a little bit of relief from the inflammation right away. But, you know, using this for an ongoing time period, this has been definitely a game changer for my regiment and helping me get past some of these issues that I've been having um, with, you know, with all upper body, whether it's bench pressing. I mean, that, that's probably the worst for me. Incline, um, you know, it, it just it is it's bad on my shoulders i try to take my shoulders out of it so it's all about form and how much i can do as far as you know time period wise not what the weight is i have bb pro neil what's going on christian how you doing five scott jimmy what's up hulk squad said i'm definitely a bbc fan 
for sure. I'm definitely one too. It's definitely one of the get best game changers healing peptides that are out there. Now, BPC-157 can work synergistically with TB-500, which is another healing peptide. BPC-157 is the therapy of the week this week, and there is a discount on it. I think we're giving an extra $25 off your BPC-157 therapy package. We've been doing that a lot. So if you get on the newsletter, you'll see what we're discounting that week. So it can be, you know, be helpful for you in your pocket. You know, with this, there's no blood test that's needed for BPC-157. All you have to do is fill out the new patient paperwork, and you'll see our medical provider. Whether it's in office or if you're not in the area, not in the state, no problem, you can see our medical providers via telemedicine, and the medications get shipped directly from the pharmacy to your doorstep. Very simple, very convenient, very effective for you guys. Um, and like I said, this has definitely been a staple for me, and I don't know a number of our patients. I don't know how many different patients have benefited from this therapy and helped in so many different ways with so many different things. Um, even after surgeries and stuff like that, you want to help repair your body faster. It can definitely help there. Um, I know some people that have got road rash, you know, from motorcycle accidents, help there too as well. So all these different things, BPC-157 can be good for. So if you're interested in this therapy or you want to know more about this therapy, you can always call or text us too as well, 727-389-3220. And we'll be able to answer your questions and help you guys out and get you guys signed up if you want to so you guys can take advantage of this great healing peptide or many of our other great therapies that we offer. I'd be Bruno, who's going to be the next sponsor athlete this year? All right, so that's a good question. That really is a good question. So I've got a couple people that I am talking to. Um, you know, I'm going with a couple older guys, I think. Um, but I want to show because some of these guys are in phenomenal shape and be 20 and 30 year olds out. Um, and if I could say, hey, listen, I got some old 40, 50 year old guys that are doing this, like 52, 57, and their physiques are that impressive, people are going to be motivated, right? And the older guys are going to be motivated to want to get there. Um, but I am going to add some people into the ranks here very shortly. I'm opening up the books per se. And I'm taking on some new uh, some new athletes, so I want to get the the best for sure. And I've already I've already made mistakes, you know, ongoing in my beginning, you know, when I started Titan, you know, with a couple athletes. But I will not make those mistakes again. So I always learn from mistakes, and you should too. Learn from history so you don't repeat it. Empower, what's going on? I'd be prone to said I'm 48. Hit me up. All right, I possibly might. And why knows? Rapier, what's going on? Strength. I said. I think people who are relying on cortisone to mask the pain might be feel a heck of a lot better with BBC 157 without losing muscle. Yeah, so cortisone definitely will mask the pain. Cortisone can be effective in helping somebody, um, you know, that has slap tears like myself or it has a, a chronic injury there um, to be able to relieve some of the pain, right? So maybe they can sleep at night because that's one problem. Uh, I'm, I'm a shoulder sleeper and both of my shoulders are messed up so it's really hard. Can't get comfortable. If I do, I have to keep turning around and wake it up. It's not good for your sleep pattern, right? You want that consistent sleep and going to REM sleep. But sometimes, like I said, that that's it's hard when you have the pain. But to my point, this that if you do use cortisone, don't just feel like, oh, it's fixed because you don't feel it. You know, there's a lot of people out there that take cortisone and they go in there and they start trying to smash their personal records, their PRs. And I'm like, why are you doing that? Like, that that's not what you want. Either, you know, it, it's not a bad injury where you could possibly get over it and you just need some time to heal and get the inflammation out of there. And cortisone is good for that. But people that abuse cortisone by taking cortisone and then go and, and, and think like they're Superman to go lift because they're not feeling pain in their areas and their shoulders, wherever it's injected, uh, I think they're being dumb about it, right? Um, they're being ignorant. And at that point, um, it just it's not going to work out for them. I mean, if you take too much cortisone, that's going to be bad too, right? Uh, you can do a lot of different damage as far as that goes. So, you know, use these things for what they should be used for, and you'll get a great benefit. If you abuse these things, you're going to get a negative effect that you don't really want for sure. Um, let me see here. Do you do kiss peptin? So, yes, we do do kiss peptin. That was from Corey on um, TikTok. So kispeptin is used in a number of different ways. Kispeptin can be used for infertility. It can be used for abac therapy, for your testicles, for shrinkage, more semen production, fertility treatments, all these things across the board. Uh, we do use some of these things as far as for some patients for abac therapy, that and in clomiphene too, which is a capsule. Uh, a big fan said, uh, Nate, I appreciate it. Nate, any other questions you guys got, shoot them at me so I can answer them live for you guys. 
And then what do you think of peptides? So we're just talking about peptides right now. So peptides are game changers in all different ways. So there's healing peptides, there's sexual peptides, weight loss peptides, and there's just more and more coming out, right? And at that point, like, if we can get the benefits from these peptides and we don't have to use other things, then it's a game changer for us. And a lot of these different peptides, especially the ones that we use pretty commonly for patients, AOD9604, weight loss peptide, game changer. BPC157, which are therapy of the week. AOD9, excuse me, TB500, I said AOD. MK677, Ibutamortin. This is another game changer. The only oral GHRH peptide out there. So that means growth and release hormone peptide. And uh, it works so good for patients, it's crazy. Pat said, I'll see you guys next week, brother. We can't wait. So, yeah, so peptides, especially like PT-141, that's FDA approved for female libido enhancement, but it works on, on males just like females in increasing true libido by working on the nervous system and not the vascular system. So, yeah, a lot of, lot of different things uh, that I think that peptides can be used for, that are good for, um, and they're a great alternative to some of the other different medications or therapies from the past. 100%. Shauna, how you doing? Obi-Wan Baloney, what's going on? So I'm assuming you guys provide advice on injection sites and how to properly inject overall. Just want to know your exact approach. For instance, I've been dealing with chronic ankle pain. So yes, so we definitely provide advice, support on everything. And everything that we do, any therapy, and we can help you as far as telling you where to inject in some of these sites. If you have chronic ankle pain, there are some different areas you can do uh, with BBC-157 or TB-500, and it can go into subcutaneous. So you know, it can go into any little area. Now, when you start getting around the feet, right, uh, you're talking about a lot of nerves on the feet. So we're going to have to look at some different areas that are around the ankle area. Uh, and I do have some different things for you because we've had some different people that have Achilles issues um, and have ankle issues. So with this, I've definitely crossed this uh, crossed this river before, and we can definitely help you out there. Fred, how you doing? Afir, how you doing? Alexis, Stu, Kim, what's going on? Francis, what's going on? What's up? Uh, Marla, shaped by Sarah. What up, Sarah? Miss Glute Station. Uh, yeah, so, you know, all these different things we can help you guys out with, right? So, let's talk about the next topic. And this one's a really, really big one. If you guys have questions about anything that we do, from hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, like even our custom signature blends, Hercules Potion, Tight Complete, Tight Serenity, uh, Titan Ultra, these are some great, great therapies. And then we talk about peptides, healing peptides, weight loss peptides, sexual peptides. We talk about rejuvenation detox. Uh, you know, a lot of people are like, well, I don't do drugs. It's not that kind of detox. It's actually for your body as far as cleansing your body. Uh, and you're not going on some little starvation diet or drinking different juices that are going to make you go to the bathroom all day. That's probably unhealthy for you. It probably dehydrate you. So at that point, we're going to talk about you know blood work too. So if you guys have questions on that nationwide, full and death panels, single panels, STD testing, food sensitivity, allergy testing, amino acid testing too. Can we test all essential and non-essential through blood work, which is super cool. Because um, you can know if you are taking a certain supplement brand or whatever it is, you can see exactly how it's working for you. Or if you're taking one of ours, you can see how effective they're going to be. All right. Neil, have you tried MK? He said no. Well, that's definitely be a game changer as far as, uh, you know, if you want to put on lean muscle mass, if you're trying to increase calorie count, that's going to be a good one. Which peptide is good to help with adding size? MK. So that was answered. So that's definitely a great one. Um, it's great. It's, like I said, it's going to help increase um, with strength, calories, uh, intake, because it can make you hungry. And it's also going to help um, raise IGF-1 levels, which is what you get all the benefits from growth hormone. Can you speak to intranzental peptides for healing, TB500? So, yes. So, Shauna, we were just talking about BPC-157. Uh, BPC-157 and TB500 can work synergistically together. Um, both can work on their own for different things, too, as well. So, you know, what I liked out of, out of both of them by taking things um, was BPC-157 did a little bit more for me, but TB-500 has its benefits. Where TB-500, it works systemically through the body. So if you inject in your arm, it's going to go all through your body, right? Where BPC-157 is more site-specific, so you're going to want to inject closest to the area subcutaneous, not directly into the injured area or tendon or whatever it may be, but close to the area. You know, when we talk about how they work, too. So we talk about when we 
increasing on both of them, it really Im improving and increasing blood vessels. So creating these new blood vessels, bringing blood to the area and letting those areas heal. That is what it's all about. Um, so that's really how they work. And, you know, I see a lot of people out there, especially for BP157 nasal. So intranasal peptides. I wouldn't do these intranasal. Uh, I would do these injectable if you, you can do that. And I would do it with a subcutaneous na uh, needle like we usually do. So it's like a 30 gauge, uh, half inch, ready to rock and roll. You know, you can do it in your stomach every day and not have a problem. You can even go with maybe um, like a 31 gauge if you want to do it. You know, you can do that and that would probably work too. And that's a little bit thinner. So with this, you know, intranasal peptide. So you know, there's been some good uh, documentation and research and data as far as nasal uh, transportation. So inject or snorting, whether it's they've got testosterone, you can do this now. You can do a BPC-157, TB-500, PT-141, oxytocin, all these different things. And they said it goes directly into the bloodstream, right? Because it goes right through. Now, with this, you're still, I don't think, going to get the absorption rate that you're going to get with an injection you know that's just the way it breaks down i think you know i've tried the nasal sprays i don't like using nasal sprays too much um because i don't know i've had injuries to my nose and i feel like it makes me more stuffy sometimes so it's just not a good way for me but listen if it's helping people out there i'm sure it can help and it does have a percentage of absorption so it's not like it's you're not getting anything but you know this might work a little bit better for you but i would say injectable is going to be the best overall you know that just is what it is sublingual is another way you can take it too and i think the percentage of absorption is almost about the same as nasal so you know with that you can you can do what feels right to you what you really want to do if you don't want to do the injections do the nasal you know, work your way up to it. See if it works really good for you. If it doesn't, I would definitely do the injectable. All right. Prax, Hashir, Coach, how you doing? Uh, I referred a lot of my friends in Tampa area to you. Oh, Tara. Thank you so much, Tara Valentine. I really appreciate that. So, Tara, if you have referred people, um, listen, when you refer people over, I want you to tell them your name, right? Say, listen, Tara referred me, Tara Valentine, and we'll put something in in our system so we can give you some credit so maybe you could try some of our different therapies you know for yourself or if you are taking them then maybe we can give you a discount on one of them because we want to do that for sure um you know i want to i want to be able to reciprocate back that and i really appreciate you uh, you referring people and hopefully they have said they've had a great experience with Titan medical center hopefully best thing for weight loss autumn uh semi-glutide terzepatide these are different game-changing ones that are really really good I drink water and coffee. Is that okay? So, yes, that's definitely okay, the beer to the pee. So, drinking water is obviously excellent for you, right? Your body's made up of water. Your organs have water. All these different things. We need water. Every single day, we need water. We need to stay hydrated. We need all this stuff to work properly, to live optimally. Now, when we talk about coffee, coffee is a good one, right? But not overdoing a coffee. Now, drinking one or two cups maybe a day, okay, cool. But when we talk about pots of coffee a day, that's not so cool. Right? We don't want to overstimulate either. We want to only take so much caffeine in. So at that point, you guys got to make sure that you're doing this. Now, I'm telling you, it, it should be really, really good as far as for your energy through the day. And hopefully that's getting you through. Faz Hussein, I've been on my test package, Hercules and Titan Complete for, with Titan for two years. Fez Hussein, how's it going? I hope all is well. Obviously, we've been with us for two years. I think it's going pretty well. Uh, does it really work out solve this? No. What's your thoughts on the TRT clinics and the DA? So what I think about this is is that uh, we, we're we okay. So other clinics, they better be worried, I guess, if that even goes through. We're going to see here in about 10 days what they're going to do. If they're going to enforce it, not enforce it, it is what it is. Uh, now with that, like, you know, that only goes for controlled substances. And when you really start breaking down the law, it starts talking about narcotics. So testosterone is not a narcotic. So they're really starting to break these apart. A lot of lawyers are looking at this, guys. A lot of medical health lawyers. So, I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm not really worried for us. I'm good to go. Um, you know, at that point, I hope the other people are prepared to do what they need to do. Um, Shauna, thank you. I'm ordering up. Awesome. I, I really appreciate it. Listen, come back on here. Let me know your experience. You know, I'm on here every Tuesday, so I want to know for sure. What's your experience? How's it going? You know, is, is it good, bad? You know, I want to know. Pretty leg muscles. I need to stop by and check y'all. Absolutely. Why haven't you stopped by and check us out? I'll give you some free cool Titan gear if you do. 
All right, just let us know you're coming by. I'll make sure we got you. 24 Ambition, what's going on? Bullet, uh, Joda, JDVS, what's going on? What's the next show you guys will be at? So we're going to be in the next show. will be Tampa Pro, the Titan Medical Center, Tampa Pro. That got a great ring to it, right? Because that was the ring before. I was looking at the, the, the old ones, uh, the old flyers and everything from 2017, 18. Just crazy, right? So we're back with a vengeance, title sponsored once again. Can't believe it. Can't wait. Thank God. And I uh, appreciate Tim Gardner. Uh, you know, it was a big shout out to him. You know, he definitely helped me out, man, with this one. So I, I appreciate it. How old are you? I'm 42 years old for anybody asking me out there. And some people say I'm younger for my age. Not. Can I still get your therapies if I live on the East Coast or Fort Lauderdale? Absolutely. Nationwide. We service nationwide. So any of you guys that need service anywhere where you guys are at, we can help service you with all the different therapies that we offer. Okay? Can I still get my little... Yep, you can still get them. How much of a difference is TRT making gains? It's a game changer. Now, if you need testosterone, right? If you don't need it, if you have good levels already, then it's probably not going to do too much. If you need it, it's going to be a game changer. That is the foundation. This is how you grow, right? This is androgen. You want androgen as a male. Females need some androgen too. They need some testosterone, but not as much as us guys. So at that point, it's going to be a game changer. Thank you, Christian. I appreciate that. What do you suggest for muscle recovery and energy for women over 45? I work out five days a week. So uh, 45, you know, I make sure, one, your hormones are in check. I blood test just to make sure because if something's out of check then this can mess with your recovery and your energy and your gains whatever they may be if you're just trying to you know tone up your legs or whatever you definitely want this to, to be in line you want your hormones and everything to be dialed in that's the first thing Tara after that we can work on some different things I mean we have ECA stack plus with maybe some Hercules potion great for recovery great for energy great for staying lean we have a couple different combinations that you know that will work out really great be moves and love my titan medical fam thank you so much and we love you too thank you for your your, your stories i love them alona how you doing uh him how you doing and uh what else we got here all right i'm so fat i broke sweat watching the this live any pointers all right semi-glutide terzepatide the good thing about these therapies, and I really don't like to, to hone in on this, but it's true. You don't need to change your diet. You don't need to exercise to lose weight with these drugs. I said it. It sucks. You should work out and have a nutrition plan in place. If you do, you will get expedited results. If you don't, you'll get results, but not as good as results if you did the good things. Like working out, having a nutrition plan, and getting a little sleep you do those three things right you're gonna get extreme results real quick if you don't you can sit back relax let it do the work for you but when you stop it's coming back rebounding on your butt so I would you know start prepping myself and training myself to get into those healthy lifestyle habits and at that point when you do it's gonna be very simple and easy if you want to get off the medication if you don't it's a long-lasting medication that a lot of people can go on for a long extended period of time. But I would just say, gear yourself, get ready to go in the direction that you need to, and be healthier all the way around, right? Now where I see medical, what kind of... I'm anemic. Any iron which food you suggest? Uh, Priscilla Nilla, that's a great question. And what I would say is red meat. Uh, a lot of people hate on red meat, right? But red meat has high, it will definitely help iron levels. Amino acid profile is there. I mean, it's one of the best out there. Lean, lean steak if you can. Fillets, New York strips, something around those lines. You start getting really fatty, you can start messing with your cholesterol. You don't really want to do that. But as far as for iron, yeah, that's going to be a go-to for sure. I take a home replacement when I was 40 and it worked wonders. See, that's something you might have to continue to be on though. Because after we hit a certain age, right, especially females, we go into post, they go into postmenopause, um, and then males we go into hypergodanism, where you know we can't produce testosterone, it doesn't produce enough, or it starts just going real, real low, and that sucks for us guys. Trust me, um, I'm pretty lean still. I bet if you're still working out five days a week, I mean, you know, you're still gonna be good. How clean do you eat? I eat pretty clean, guys. So. I eat the exact same thing every single day, if you can believe that. And I've done it for years. Um, you know, I'll throw in some mix, some, you know, here or there sometimes. You know, we might splurge on something. But 
Uh, for the majority, this is what I eat every single day. So I eat 24 ounces of filet mignon in the morning. And I eat that with one cup of rice. That's what I eat in the morning. I also eat 10 egg whites. Just the egg whites, not the full eggs. 10 egg whites. Hard boiled eggs, I eat the egg whites off. I eat 24 ounces of steak, and then I eat one cup of rice. Lunchtime. I'm eating three to four chicken breasts, right? Uh, and they're like six ounces. And then I'm eating um, their homemade mashed potatoes, right? So that's what I'm like one cup worth. Dinner. I'm eating 24 ounces of filet mignon and I'm eating one cup of rice. Now, during the day, after a workout, I will drink a protein shake just because it's fast. I'm going to get in the system. Glow my Nikel. What's up, girl? Big shout out. Chicago up in the house. If you guys are up there, go check her out. She'll make you look all pretty and beautiful. Um, so at that point, you know, th that's what I eat every single day. And that's what keeps me the way it goes. Now, if we're, you know, somewhere off or, you know, if you eat consistent all the time, that one time when you want to have a cheat meal or an ice cream or whatever it is, you won't feel guilty about it. You, it definitely won't affect you. But if you're eating that 90% of the time and only 10% clean, you ain't going to get nowhere, right? Especially if you want to get somewhere. Jay Lev, what are your Tampa facility hours? I need to stop by and see what I can do to improve my situation. We can definitely help you. Um, hours are 9, I would say 10, to 6 p.m. to talk to somebody that's here. So 10 to 6 p.m., we're here for you. You can always call or text too as well. Go by Nicole. I need my pink pills, bro. So what she's talking about is the ECA Stack Plus, but she's talking about the low dose. We also make a high dose, and we make an even bigger dose for those people that can tolerate the high dose. So there's some different options there, and everybody's different. That's why we have different doses for different people because different people might have different tolerances to stimulants. So at that point, we want to make sure that everybody is good. You should not feel jittery and bouncing off the walls. You know, that's a problem with a lot of people taking pre-workouts or overstimulating uh, and getting negative effects. You don't want that. Trust me. Hello from San Antonio. I appreciate the love. Uh, what else we got here? Any Philly in the house. What's up? Uh, what about out-of-state people that want to start and get advice on plant? So we help everybody around the country. Anywhere you guys are at, nationwide, we're helping you guys. Except for Idaho. Sorry. But everybody else, we're helping. Did I miss Tessophene? Yeah. So, and Ipromorelin. So, for fat loss. All right, so testofensine, uh, I'm really not that good at that pronouncing that. That is another one for weight loss and is a peptide. So it is one that you did bring up. Now with this, you know, I've got some people that got some good results and got some not so good results and they were upset they spent them that amount of money on it. Now Iperellin, CJC1295 with Iperellin. That's the combination with the, we use. Now, you want to take both those together so you're getting a better effect for sure, 110%. And that can aid in fat loss and weight loss. Um, but there are some different ones that work a lot better. When we talk about semi-glutide or terzepatide, those are going to work way better than those two that you just mentioned uh, for weight loss, fat loss, right? But other things. So when we talk about like anti-aging properties, sleeping, raising IGF-1 levels, recovery... CJC 1295 and Iperolin is a game changer. All right. You must get your eggs for cheap. You know what? This is where I get my eggs from, guys. And I'll be honest with you. I get them every day from Uber Eats. And there's this little place called Brunchies. And I get six, which is 12 eggs. I get, because they're two every, every quantity. I get 12 eggs. And I think it cost me like, it might cost me like 14, 15 bucks. Which is, is expensive. But, but, I don't have to cook it. So I'm, I'm paying for a convenience fee of it already being cooked and coming to me. That way I can just you know bust them out. I'm eating them. Because, man, I'm busy in the morning. I, I'm busy all day. So at that point, man, i got to get it in. I'm trying to just get this stuff down as fast as possible. Hold not long. What's up, brother? Hold ball as well. Does Titan sell these two peptides? Yes, we do. We do sell the two peptides. The CJC 1295 and I probably come in one therapy package. So you're getting two different peptides for the price of one with that. Um, that's that's a game changer. That one is, is definitely a great one to have. Uh, Muscle Maria, how you doing? CM Cass, what's up? Uh, we got any more on here? B. Muzin, what'd she say? Sean's about it. B. Muzin said, I did some of glutide for about three months. Eat clean, worked out, and lost 37 pounds. Life changing. That is awesome. That is just awesome. Shauna said, I'll, I'll just, no worries, I'll just buy up. You're, you're definitely going to like those uh, for sure, 100%. 
What else we got? Essia and any more? Any more? What do we got here? B. Musin also said, tight medical therapies really are life changing. They have a team of professionals that are always there for you no matter what. They truly treat you like family and give you your best options for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That really means a lot. And that's what we do. I, I, you know, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of the staff. Be sure to sign up for Titans newsletter for sure so you guys got in the polls. What would you recommend for a great pre-work, pre-workout, C. Paul? So I wouldn't recommend any pre-workouts at all, guys. The reason is, is that, you know, pre-workouts have so many different things in them, so many different stimulants, fillers, all this garbage that, you know, it might stimulate you and it might make you feel nausea. You might have to go to the bathroom and all these different things. You shouldn't feel like that. What I would do is our ECA Stack Plus. It's ephedrine, caffeine, aspirin, B12, and chromium. It's going to give you that get up and go energy, clean energy, not bounce off the walls and fit in jittery and crack, like, a, like a tweaker. Um, so that's going to be the, your go to for sure. What about out of state people that want to start and get advice on planning? Like I said, contact us. We'll take care of you. First time watching, what kind of products are you offering and what is it used for? So we do everything from hormone replacement therapy for med- males and females, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers, uh, peptide therapies, uh, eating medications, libido enhancers for males and females, and we do blood work nationwide. We do preventive anti-aging medicine. Everything comes prescribed from a doctor. You see the medical providers uh, and from a U.S. licensed pharmacy where your medications come from directly to you. All right. How many times a day do you go live? I only go live... Uh, Tuesdays and Fridays. So Tuesdays I do it at 6 p.m. usually, and Fridays I do it with Titan Lifestyle with Drew at 2 p.m. Dan, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, dude. Been working on things. Hopefully getting better and better. Going out to Vegas next uh, next month, so you know, got to look the part where I'm going out there, you know, hanging out with some friends, having some business events, and uh, having some fun. Hopefully, where can I get the ECA stack? Have a website. So Tom, all you have to do, yeah. Is Car, you can call or text 727-389-3220. You can go to the website and fill out the new patient paperwork. That's the first step. TitanMedicalCenter.com. T-I-T-A-N. Medical Center, all spelled out, dot com. Do you have any alternative to ECA Plus? So, yeah. I mean, you can do a caffeine pill. I mean, that's probably your best bet than an ECA Stack Plus. Did you have a problem with it, with it uh, Kaji Gus? Was it too much? And did you get the blue and white one? Did you get the pink one? How was your experience? Let us know. Uh, do I have a pet? Of course I have a pet. I have tons of them. Uh, anything else here? Alright, so let's get on to the next one. So it's not just soda. Nutritionists weigh in on the absolute worst drinks for your health. Um, and obviously, you know, sodas are bad for you, right? But let's really go down and, and talk about some of these different things that these nutritionists found that were bad for you. And the first one is pre-workouts and energy drinks. And with pre-workouts and energy drinks, uh, these increase blood pressure, stress, and compromise your sleep since they contain excessive amounts of caffeine and stimulants. Other side effects, uh, excess stimulants found in pre-workout energy drinks are headaches and nausea. So these are just some of the different things that can affect you. And we talk about sleep, that's a big one, right? You're like, oh, my sleep patterns suck, or I can't go to sleep. Are you consuming a lot of energy drinks or a lot of stimulants through the day? If you are, or even doing too late, this can keep you up at night. This can disturb your sleep too as well. So really got to look at that on your own level and say, hey, listen, am I taking in too much as far as stimulants plus other garbage that's in there? Um, you know, the supplement industry is notoriously unregulated, right? Which can lead to contamination of these different products with toxins or banned substances, which can be detrimental to your health. So when we talk about this, don't think it's too out of the realm because there's a, a there's I don't know, it's a lot, but there's a good amount of companies out there that have been caught, you know, contaminating things or putting unregulated goods into these supplements so you would get gains, but it's illegal to put in there. You can't just put steroids in, in, in different things. And, and there were companies that did it out there, like, you know, big companies at one point in time. So you got to watch out for this. And there's way better alternatives than pre-workouts. And I see a lot of these kids that are younger, and they're, they're looking for the boost and stuff like that, which I don't know why, at 13, 14 years old, but they are, and they're trying to get into these pre-workouts, so there's so many energy drinks when they go in the gas station, you know, and you got to really watch your kids. If you have kids, don't let them have this garbage. Do not let them have this garbage. Why have them start now at such a young age and start taking these things? Don't, because when they get older, they can make their own decisions, and they might drink it, they might not, but at least you're training them and teaching them the right way of things. 
All right, so the next one after that. Then it talks about sweet alcoholic cocktails. Uh, and a lot of combinations of, of cocktails and alcoholic drinks that have sweet, whether it's juice or whatever it may be, have high levels of fruit, fruit, fructose syrup, which are sometimes found in cocktails. Uh, and what happens is, is with drinking alcohol and this fructose syrup, it's found in cocktails and it's not good for your liver. And you know, basically, it can jam up your liver, and your liver doesn't process it like it should. It, it compromises the ability to filter out toxins and hamper its conversion of fructose to glucose. So at that point, you know, whatever your your, your liver can't process gets stored as fat. You don't want that, right? Traditional sodas. So this could be your pop, Coke, Pepsi, whatever, right? Seven Up, whatever it is. And most of these have high fructose corn syrup in them. You can find other alternatives out there that have cane sugar. Now, it's still sugar, right? And that's the big problem with these drinks. You're talking about 12 tablespoons in these drinks. And that's on an average. And you're only supposed to take in 10 throughout the whole day. So at that point, you really better be checking what you're intaking. Because at that point, if you're taking in a lot of sugar, this could cause you know you to get fat, right? It can cause diabetes type 2, insulin resistance, all these things, and then it's a downward spiral from there on your health. So really, really look at what you're doing here, and you know, is it worth it? And you know, what they said was maybe a seltzer with some lime or lemon, you know, something that's real. Uh, you know, that's a good thing. I wouldn't even drink seltzer. Any carbonation, I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm definitely out on iced tea. So this isn't talking about iced tea you make at home, but this is iced tea that is commercially prepared, adding a ton of sugar to this, just like any soft drink or soda that's out there, and the same that exact thing. Too much sugar in these things can can develop a metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes, and that's not good, right? So watch out for these different things. Drinks sweetened with agave nectar. So all these great companies out there have great marketing tactics, and they look for different things that they can replace these bad things with that are just as bad. So when we talk about agave nectar, you know, before we get into agave nectar, the one that's a big bad boy out there that is a big bad wolf is high fructose corn syrup. It was in everything. It was supposed to be cheaper than regular sugar, and it was supposed to be healthier for you. Well, we've learned now that it's not so healthy for you, and it's actually really, really bad. So at that point, you know, everybody's trying to get rid of it in the, in the food industry because they know if people are looking and more educated about this, then they might not buy it if they're trying to be healthier. So they dress it up with agave nectar. And agave nectar, you're thinking, oh, well, it comes from an agave plant, you know, the sap, you know, this is going to be okay. You know, it's more, it's more natural, but it's not. It's got between 55 and 90% of fructose in it. That's higher than the amount that's in high fructose corn syrup. Think about that. So it's even worse for you. It's not even a little bit better. It's even worse. So at that point, watch what you're intaking and watch some of these cool little words that you think, oh, well, agave nectar should be good for me. It's really bad. So look into it, guys. After that, let's get into the next one. Juice cocktail. So a lot of kids suffer from the juice cocktail thing, and adults do too. You think a juice cocktail, well, I'm drinking fruit juice. But how much is really fruit juice in the juice cocktail? So some will tell you on the labels, 3%, 5%, 10%. None of them that are juice cocktails will say 100% fruit juice. And that's really what you're going for is the 100% fruit juice. Because a juice cocktail is full of sugar, right? And at that point, unnecessary extra calories in your day. So this is just going to add fat to you and raise glucose levels in your bloodstream. And that can cause deterioration of cells and all these other different bad things that can happen. So get real fruit juice. Artificial sweetened drinks. I talk about this to a couple of my people on the inside, a.k.a. Andreas. Yeah. So we talk about these different things. Research has shown that artificial sugars like aspartame and sucralose disturb the microalbum and damage our gut health. This is harmful to our overall health since the gut plays a key role in many of our body systems such as the immune health, hormone recycling, serotonin production, and nutrient absorbency. So with this, I've been saying before, just because you get a Diet Coke and you're not getting any sugar or zero, zero calories, it's not good for you, okay? It's not a good alternative. So at that point, don't say it is because you might as well take in cane sugar at that point, right? Here's the thing. Whenever people see people doing it, they think it's healthy like this. Yeah. 
Yeah. What about diet soda? And I have not seen any good answers or conclusion data. Also, many bodybuilders drink diet soda. Yeah, they're making a mistake, and there is a ton of conclusion. Uh, well, let me not say a ton. There is a ton of data out there as, as far as these what is bad and what is not. Now, there are other ones. There is other data out there saying it's not as bad and all this, or it's okay. So, you know, I mean, let's go by the overwhelming amount of data that says it's bad. We shouldn't be doing it. Right, and I don't know why bodybuilders think that they can drink diet soda and they'll be cool with it, right? Because I see some of them drink like three to five a day, and that's a lot. That's still a lot. I mean, I just wouldn't do it. I mean, if they really want to be healthy, why are you drinking soda? I just don't know. I mean, listen, if it's once a year and like you're like out with the family, like you stop at this like I don't know cool place that might have like old bottles and you want to drink up, that's cool. That's fine. If you're sick, you need some ginger ale for your stomach or whatever. Okay, but to do this on ongoing routine, I don't think it's a, it's a good way to do it for any bodybuilder or any regular person that's out there. All right, next one, Frappuccino. There was an alternative, though, so you guys did know this. So they did say that, um, that stevia or monk fruit sweetened drinks are great sugar alternatives that also are gut-friendly, so not bad on the microalbum, too, as well. So you can look for these different things. You can also jazz up your drinks with herbs such as mint, basil, or fresh fruit into water. And I always tell people that. I'm like, listen, you want a little taste? Put some fruit in your water. Now, it's not going to taste like a juice drink, okay? But it's going to give it a little bit of flavor so you're not just drinking water. I like water personally, and I'll just drink water just by itself. But, you know, some people might need that, and that's okay too. Uh, Frappuccinos. And other sweet coffee drinks contain what I call sweet fats, a combination of sugar from the syrups and flavors and saturated fats from the cream. While the combination of sugar and fats makes the drink taste delicious and creamy, it leads to excess fat storage due to a rise in the hormone insulin, our fat storage hormone. So these, these sweet fats hijack our brain circuits, making us want more and more. So if, if you've taken a break from sugar, really taken a break, and you go for two weeks, you don't want it. But when you have the next piece that has sugar in it, you're going to want it more and more. It's almost like an addictive thing right off the bat. I've tried this. You know, I'm like, damn, like, man, I haven't had it. Like, I'm not even feeling it. I don't care. And then when I eat it, I'm like, oh, now I want a whole bunch. So just be careful with this. And like I said, you don't have to kill all your Frappuccinos, but maybe not put cream in there if, if you want or, or lower the sugar consumption or syrups that you're putting in there. I know like at uh, Starbucks, you can put like, 10 different syrups in, in one coffee if you want to. It's just crazy. And all that syrup is no good for you, okay? All right. Upcoming Titan sponsored events. 8-3 to 8-5 will be the Titan Tampa Pro in Grant Hyatt, uh, Bayport. It's always there. 10-21 Hurricane Pro, St. Pete. 11-2 to 11-5 Olympia 2023 in Orlando. And 11-5 that Sunday of that weekend. We'll be at Festival Speed at the Ritz-Carlton in Orlando, Florida. Florida, I can't wait. And the Titan newsletter this week. Do you have any nagging injuries or problems with joints, muscles, or tendons? 0% said, yes, I take over-the-counter medications for it. 10% says, I take Titan therapies, BPC-157, CJC, TB-500, etc. for 10%. 16% said, yes, I take non-Titan prescription medications. 24% said, none, not at all. And 50% said, yes, I have issues, but nothing major. So if you have issues, you can be a little bit preventative about this, or you can try to help it out a little bit by taking one of the healing peptides like BBC-157 or TB-500. If you don't have any energy, that's great. And the prescription medications are some people are taking at 60%. I wonder really what those are. Well, there's anti-inflammatories, or, or what is it, right? And 24% said nothing at all. So that's great. That's awesome. If you can go without getting injuries, God bless you, all right? Um, that's another thing. I see you know, one guy that's old that hasn't had any injuries and just looked phenomenal. But everybody that I know has, has had injury of some sort or another, all right? Love your videos. Thanks, Beverly Smith. I appreciate it. Uh, all right. B Stone, what's up? All right. Pre-workout for the week. Yeah. All right. So that's it, guys. That is the show. Do you guys got any questions for me before I go? If you do, shout it out. And uh, I'll answer for you guys. If not, I am going to go. I appreciate everybody joining me every Tuesday, 6 p.m. for Titan Talk Tuesday with me, John CEO. Chris Mixer looking like a Greek guy. John, I appreciate that. Thanks, bro. Uh, DC Baker in the house. T. Brad, what's up? Ahmed, what's going on? Uh, but that's it, guys. I don't see any other questions. 
so that's it. I'm going to leave you at that. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the support. And uh, we got some new things coming to Titan very shortly. I can't wait to show you guys and talk about it with you guys. So stay tuned. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next Tuesday, Titan Talk Tuesday, with me, John CEO of Titan Medical.